Hi, Tim here with Clive Coffee. Today we're going to show you how to rebuild your E61 group head. The tools that you're going to need a couple of large adjustable wrenches, a flathead screwdriver, and a pair of pliers will be helpful. We're going to start at the top mushroom cap, we're going to be disassembling that first and we'll show you which parts we're going to replace. We'll then move on to our brew lever and then down to the exhaust valve. Starting at the very top of the mushroom cap. You can take this top piece off here. And inside you'll find your screen. We'll just set these aside. We'll open up that large wrench and take off that larger bolt here. And underneath you will find the long mushroom piece. It is spring loaded. So it might just pop out on you. And there we are. So this mushroom piece has a white Teflon gasket here. We'll set that aside. And you might want to use your pliers at this point to grab your spring. And then finally the pin. This gasket here, that's at the bottom of your mushroom cap, so it kind of assembles this way. This gasket right here in this entire piece, this is really the heart of your E61 group head. That's the one point that closes off that top water chamber and then the rest of the group head when water is flowing to the group. Most leaking would be due to this seal not closing up effectively. When you are rebuilding your E61 group head, it's gonna be one of the main pieces that you would be replacing. We are going to suggest replacing just this entire uh, piece here. You can get a little bit more detail than take apart the gaskets, but it's gonna be easiest to just swap these entire pieces out. The other two gaskets that you may replace while you're in there are gonna be these Teflon, these white Teflon gaskets. There's two different sizes. Those are less likely to fail, but if you're in there rebuilding, it can be just an easy thing to swap out. So that's our very, the very top chamber, that mushroom piece. We'll kind of set that aside. And then we're gonna move on to this lever. We can disassemble and pull that lever piece out. We're gonna start by unscrewing this uh, with the flathead here. And I'm gonna bring the lever into this first position just to make a little bit uh, less pressure inside there. With the lever in the down position, the internal cam is pushing down on the pin for this bottom relief valve. So just to relieve the pressure of pushing down on that, we're just gonna bring into this, this uh, first position here. And we're gonna remove this flathead screw here. So as you remove that piece there, this will slide out and you will find inside you will see a small washer. You wanna hold on to that and we'll set aside this first part of the valve assembly. Next, we are going to take our adjustable wrench and you can loosen the outside nut. There are two, um, two slightly different sizes. So with your adjustable wrench, we're gonna loosen the outside and then get to this internal one. You always want, want to be very careful when you are working with your E61 group head. Um, so you do not scratch any of the chrome plating. So just make sure that you're very gentle 
with this process. So as I unscrew this, the entire assembly is already coming out here. And we can take the rest out by hand. And so this cam piece here, you will see a couple of parts that we're gonna go ahead and internally take a look at. So using two wrenches, I'm gonna crack the seal between those two. And now I can get in here to take a look inside our assembly. This cam valve can be pulled out completely. And now that we've got this completely disassembled, looking inside of this main piece here, you'll see a couple of rubber gaskets deep inside there. Some E621 group heads have one gasket, some are gonna have two. And I'll show you what those look like. And so internally there, you can get a, a small tool or a pick to pull those gaskets out and you would replace them with a couple of fresh new gaskets. If you see leaking that's happening at your lever, that, that brew lever, it's typically this point right here. As you can see, that gasket in there is the one place where the water could, could come out. So when you're doing a rebuild, you could inspect those gaskets if they look okay. You'd be uh, fine just using them, continuing to use them. If you are getting a little bit of leaking, or if you just want to replace them while you're in there using a pick or a small tool, pull those small gaskets out and replace them. The other replacement part would be this white Teflon seal here. They do last quite a while. Uh, you could reuse them, but if you're in there, you want to replace that. It's, it's a very simple part. So that is our, our brew lever assembly. And the main, again, the main two parts that you'd be replacing there are the internal gasket and then this outside Teflon. So we'll set this back aside here. And we're gonna move on to the bottom relief valve. Using our large adjustable wrench, we can go ahead and remove the entire valve from, from the E61 group. And you'll find this pin here. There's a gasket inside of the top of the pin and that's what seals this point here on the E61 group and it's spring loaded as you see there. This gasket down here can wear. Uh, so if that needs to be replaced, you would replace this entire piece, the entire pin and gasket right there. As we go deeper inside, you'll find a second pin similar to what we have here, spring loaded pin with a gasket on the end. So we go ahead and take this apart and there is, there's that secondary pin. So it's kind of similar to what's happening up at the top here. And so again, that lower pin, it seals up at this gasket here. So as this top pin is pushed down into the assembly, it's actually pushing against this secondary pin. And so your common pieces to replace when you're doing an E61 group head rebuild on this lower portion, it's gonna be this pin and gasket. The lower secondary pin and gasket, it's a smaller, slightly smaller piece. And you will find that white silicone piece 
is still stuck up in the top here. So you could pry that out with a pick and replace that white gasket piece. And then you'll find that smaller gasket, that white gasket down at the bottom. Those can be replaced. Reassembly is as simple as following these steps in reverse order, working your way from the bottom of your E61 group onto the lever. When, when you're reassembling the lever, I would suggest taking note of where the uh, cam is in the orientation. It's easiest to place the cam in, and you'll notice you have a uh, one-to-one -one orientation. This cam, there's a square edge to the other side of it. So as you place it in, you want it to slide into place, and then this can be screwed into the group head. And then with that bottom pin pushing in place and kind of everything locking in place, you can then go ahead and put your lever in the proper orientation. You're gonna to want to make sure that you give it the right pressure so it feels like you're pushing down on that pin. So when it's in that down position, the cam is now pushing down on the lower pin. And then finally you would put, your, put that screw and washer back into place and then move on to that top mushroom cap. Again, reassembling in the same order that we took that apart and at that point with the lever already in place, it'll be much easier just to drop that in and tighten things down. That's how to rebuild your E61 group head. This, is, this applies to all E61 group head machines. For more information on using your espresso machine, check out the links here. For other tech tips, visit our knowledge base at clivecoffee.com.